Alright, this is the Easy Tech Man Sean from EasyTechSite.com. Uh, I'm just going to do a quick video for you guys today and just show you how to add Google AdSense to your account. Or not to your account, but to your WordPress website. So if you have your WordPress dashboard already pulled up, uh, all you got to do is log into your Google account. If you haven't set one of those up, uh, you really need to do that because you need Google for your analytics and you're going to need it if you want to add some Google AdSense. So. I'm not going to show you how to set up the Google account, but I will show you how to set up the AdSense. So once the account is set up, you'll want to go to Google Account Settings. When I come over here and click AdSense, if it's the first time that you've logged in to AdSense, you'll probably have to set up the AdSense account, which should only take you a few seconds. But after you've got it set up, it should look like this, and we just want to go to AdSense Setup. And now we're going to create our actual ad. Um, I usually just hit AdSense for content because those are the type of uh, ads that we want to have within our blog or um, on our sidebars. So I'm going to click AdSense for content. And you can choose to have text and images, uh, just text only or images only. I prefer text and image personally, but you can pick whichever one of those you like. Then you want to hit continue. Over here, we can choose what type of uh, ad, and you know, depending on uh, which area of your website you're planning on placing it, this is how you would choose that. So I'm going to have one that runs along the side of my web page. So I want to get one that looks like a skyscraper. So I'm going to choose 120 by 600. Scroll down, and you can change some of this other stuff. I typically don't mess with any of that hit continue and just go ahead and hit continue again here and then we want to hit submit and get code and then here's our code so what we want to do is we want to copy and paste this so we're going to copy it now we'll go back to our dashboard now what I like to do is simply especially if I'm just going to have it on the sidebar is go over to widgets if you grab the text widget and you would drag it over to the sidebar wherever you would like it, I'm just going to put mine right here, and then we can copy and paste that AdSense code right inside there. So just save that and hit close. And then when we go to our website, let's see if it's already showing up there. No, not quite. Um, it usually takes mm, just a couple of minutes to actually start showing up, so we're going to give that another minute here. Now, some people don't want to just put it on their sidebar. They want to also include it within the post itself. Now, some of your themes will have a place for that. Um, if not, you can. there's a lot of plugins that you can get. If you were to go to plugins here, Add new, and we can let's just type in Google AdSense, and there's going to be a lot of options for you. Um, really, it just depends on your theme and some of those other things. You might just want to play with some of these, um, but a lot of these, like right here, we got WordPress simple AdSense insertion, simple AdSense insert. Um, why do work AdSense plugins not bad? We're just going to go ahead and grab that actually. So hit install now. And we're going to click activate plugin. And then I'm going to click on why do work AdSense. And you'll notice I get all kinds of options here. But what we can simply do, so let's just say that we want to have one right below our blog post. We'll go back to Google AdSense. We're going to manage ads again. And actually get ads here. So AdSense setup, get ads just like we did the first time. And if I want one to go underneath, uh, go ahead and hit continue here. If I want one to go underneath, I probably just want a normal banner. Um, so I'm just going to pick a f banner here, 468 by 60 banner. We're going to hit continue. 
continue again submit and get code just like before here's our code again go ahead and copy that and by the way if you hit manage ads you'll see a list of all the ads that you've created so you can go back and grab those again um, so you know your main page looks like this when you log into your AdSense we can just go to AdSense setup manage ads and here's the ads that you would have created and we've created two here just in the last you know minute or so so now we go back to our why do work AdSense um, plug-in and we're just gonna copy and paste that little guy in there just like we did in our widget and um, select number one here because we chose code one now you have code two code three and so on and so on you can change and add all kinds of different ones but we're just gonna do one for the night now I want mine to show up on the front page here and I think I want it to show up at the bottom of the uh, post so I'm just gonna hit bottom and I'm gonna update so now we've added a Google AdSense via plugin here to go underneath our first post and we've also went to the widget bar if you remember and we added one on the sidebar so now let's go to our website and you'll see there's the big long one that we created first uh, within just a few minutes it's already up here and then within uh, probably another few minutes let's just refresh the page here we should start seeing the one from the one that we created um, with the plug-in. So let's just go back and make sure it's set up right. Why do you work AdSense? And we do have it in there. We chose code number one. We aligned for the bottom. We wanted to show in the first post. And I'm going to hit that there too just so I can make sure it's working. I'm going to update again. Go back to the site and yeah it's taken a few minutes for that one to load but uh, just like it did on this one um, we'll start to see that one there too but I typically don't use AdSense plugins because I normally just put the ad on the sidebar and um, a lot of your plugins or not your plugins but a lot of your themes will actually have little ad boxes where you can put Google AdSense so however you want to do it is fine you know by me you do it whatever works for you and um, that's really it that's all there is to it and like I said you can manage your ads from right here and I frequently go in here and grab one to add to a new site and they're already created for me so hope this video was helpful for you when we talk about uh, Google AdSense um, if you have any questions go ahead and go to the easytechsite.com you can uh, submit a question there uh, to the forums or through the contact page and um, let me know if there's uh, any other type of videos that you need some training on that have to do with WordPress. So thank you and uh, good luck.